ton. That's the second dropped connection in a row here. Thankfully, we didn't quite get the game started. Um, I don't know what's going on. It keeps dropping the connection and killing the stream. I just checked my wireless speed. It seems to be doing fine. So I don't know what the issue is here. I'm hoping we can, <laughs> we will not need to restart the stream again. All right. So Little Nightmares, we are playing the DLC. We are looking to finish it. I had kind of set everything up and intro with this. And now it is uh, disrupted the connection and cut all that out. Part of what makes that so annoying for me is, hey little triangle fella. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Part of what makes it so annoying for me when it disrupts the stream, obviously it's annoying when it cuts the stream out like that. But, um, you know, when this is done, I like to download the VODs and upload them to our YouTube channel. I don't know how many people really watch them, but for me, I just like archiving it there, you know? I just like that it exists somewhere permanently because it doesn't archive stuff permanently on Twitch. But, um... When the stream drops like that, then it creates a whole new VOD. And usually that wouldn't really matter to me because, okay, you just download them both and then, uh, you know, clip them together on the timeline in your favorite editing software. But my computer, with all my editing software on it, is done. RIP, my MacBook, is out of commission. And I don't know whether I'll ever actually bother to get it fixed. Uh, the screen cracked. And what's so irritating about it is it's such a small crack because it happened just because I closed it. I closed the MacBook. I don't know. guess a little too rough. Apparently, it's a pretty common issue. Uh, I just closed it, and then I opened it again the next day, and voila! There was a tiny little itty-bitty crack in it, which make, renders the entire screen inoperable. And now I just can't use that computer at all. That's where I had all my editing software. So right now, when I put these up on YouTube, I just have to download the whole stream and just upload that raw recording. Um, this looks like... There's a book here with this lady's face on it. I feel like I could pull it and open a secret door. Maybe I need to find the other half and put it next to it. Or maybe that has nothing to do with anything. And that's just a harmless detail that I'm fixating on. So yeah, I hate when it... Um, I hate when it cuts the stream out like that because I can't, I'm in a position where I can't really edit the clips together. And so it's like, okay, I don't want to upload two halves of one stream as different videos on our YouTube. Maybe it doesn't seem like a big deal. I just think it's kind of annoying. And I don't think, I, you know, it's not very clean. I don't like that. I don't like the way it looks. I don't know. It's just a personal thing. But yeah, it's super obnoxious. I mean, I broke the screen on that thing months ago, and I took it down to the Apple Store, the old Genius Bar. And my warranty is up on it. Of course it is, unfortunately. Here's some spooky music playing in the background. Spooky music box. What made it so obnoxious, though, was, like, the dude who I had an appointment with. I opened up the MacBook and, like, didn't even have to explain what happened. I open it up. He takes a immediate, like, cursory glance at it and goes, oh, you got one of those. Meaning, oh, you got a crack from your MacBook for because you closed it. Like, it's such a common issue, which makes you think they could most certainly manufacture a fix and, you know, future models of it. 
I mean, what, I can't close my fucking computer, right? And then get this, it's like $500 to fix it. $500 to fix a screen that's got like a hairline crack in it in the top corner from like a known manufacturing you know I don't I don't know if error is quite accurate but but flaw can I pull this yeah that's cute oh there's a bottle up here we can break pop it out ourselves a little scroll I'm sure we've missed some of these right who's that Got a little picture of somebody there little fella $500 to fix it and I even tried to kind of haggle with him I went like look man my warranty w just ended a few months ago like you're saying you know this is a common issue I could see if I like dropped it down the stairs but come on can, you can't give me a break here I literally just closed the thing and now it's rendered inoperable and he has the audacity to go well look he starts asking me questions he's like are, are you in college you know are you going to school right now because you know places like these often have like student discounts and I'm like no no oh, I'm like not right now I'm not, no, not really. Like, I'm not going to lie about it. And he goes, well, like, have you ever been in college? Like, I'm like, oh, he's trying to cut me a break here. Or he's trying to find the loophole. And I go, yeah, I've been to college. And he goes, okay, have you got like, your student ID? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I get all excited. He's like, okay, I could give you like a hundred bucks off of a new MacBook. <laughs> like, are you fucking kidding me? So his option is pay $500 to fix the screen of... My MacBook, which broke because I closed it. Or I can get $100 off of like a $4,000 computer. Sick. Like I just took my shit and left. I was so angry. And I haven't fixed it since. And I've been able to get by fine. Like, you know, I have my phone. I can do some things on my work computer. And like right now, to monitor the chat for the stream, I'm using Jess's computer. But, like, when it comes to stuff like, you know, stuff that became kind of commonplace for me, like editing audio, editing video, all my software for that is gone. Just because the screen has a crack in it. It's super annoying. I've not been uh, talking much about the game itself. So we've got, this is the final boss from the main game, this lady, because the DLC is a prequel to it. We've got a key up here. I think we gotta distract her to, so that she leaves this room. Some scary dolls. That's fine, not a problem. I would think we gotta make like a loud noise. Get that key. Oh, uh, we've been in here before. We were in here as little yellow coat boy. turn that off I don't know if we really want to though that key's downstairs I'm not sure exactly what it goes to unless it was I remember we had to get a key in the base game oh hey 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 where'd you go we've got that up there I think this door is what the key went to. Maybe not. We got a little idol up there. I'm feeling like we need to like break something to get her to come in here. Break something so she comes in here. And then we run back and get that key in that room. Just the thought. I do hope we have a decent chunk of the game left. I'm, I'm hoping for like an hour to 90 minutes, somewhere left, you know, somewhere in that range. I 
I like that'll be a nice healthy spot to where we can then call it a night. Also hoping the stream just maintains flawlessly for the rest of the evening here. What do we got up here? Hey, what's up? <clears throat> I gave up on multiverses. Send my condolences to Cam. I was enjoying playing with him. But after the stream just shit the bed, I figured, well, that seems as good a time as any to move to the next game. <laughs> Rather than boot up multiverses and get everything back in place. 10.30 was kind of where I meant to call it anyway. He's looking at this book. Your internet went out too? Oh, really? Interesting. Okay, he's looking at these books. He must need to do something with the books, eh? Oh, wait, look, there's the one with the spot, the... I was saying earlier. Is that really it? That's such a far way to take this back. That's such a little detail. I guess we'll try it out. I didn't really actually... After having come all this way up, I didn't actually anticipate that being something I should do. I didn't anticipate that as something I should do. I notice I don't quite talk like a normal human being sometimes on stream. I was like listening back to um, some earlier streams of this because I wanted to grab some clips for Twitter and stuff. And listening back, I'm sometimes just like, what the fuck am I even talking about? Like I make weird, weird mistakes I wouldn't when just, you know, speaking casually and not. Oh! Instant death. So that's what happens when she sees you. You just die immediately. <laughs> I wasn't crouched while I was carrying that book. If the envelope doesn't come tomorrow. Dude, the envelope is not coming, Matt. I'm sorry to tell you. I don't know what was in that. Um, but coming, you know, a simple letter in the mail from your neck of the woods to my neck of the woods definitely does not take a week plus. Um, so I would say it's safe to assume it's not going to get here. But, of course, I will check for it tomorrow. Nothing of monetary value. I would hope not. Can I crouch? I don't think I can crouch while I'm holding the book. So maybe I have to get her to come over here a different way. I I don't know. I'm, I'm not 100% on what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm just kind of guessing. We'll figure it out. Yeah, I don't think... I, I'm, I'm sorry to say, because I definitely gathered at this point what you've sent over is of importance, and I look forward to receiving it, but... um. Oh no! Death. <laughs> Jen's grandmother lives in Medina. It took two weeks for something she mailed to Jen to show up. Maybe. I mean, granted, there's been a lot of USPS and slowdowns in the last year. I don't send a lot of things through mail anymore, so I don't know whether that's improved. But that is true. That is something that's been happening the last year or so. You know, you and I are like, what, an hour drive apart? It's not like it's got to go very far. But I will, of course, absolutely check for it tomorrow and let you know whether or not it showed up. I hope it does. I hope it does. Okay, we got this. All sorts of things to interact with and play with. Connor didn't get his till mid of last week. I'm gonna pick this up. Oh! Oh, it was a trap! Oh, it was a trap! Oh, it was a trap! 
Oh god, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Put it back, put it back! Put it back! Put it back! What am I supposed to do? Ah! No! Well, that's the end of my story. Okay, interesting. Did not expect an Indiana Jones trap for picking that up. So what exactly happened there? Did the door close? Like, could I grab this and get out the door? There's a door over here as well. Feels like no. Feels like I'm going to try it again. We'll grab it and see if I can go through either of the doors. Oh, no, it closed right away. What about over here? This door open? No. No, it didn't. Okay, put it back. Put it back. Oh, it actually works. Okay. Didn't quite get that the first time. Interesting. So we pick this up. Doesn't seem to do us any good to pick it up. We just get trapped in here. So maybe we need something to bring something else in here that we can replace it with. Cam is an usher for the wedding and made a deal with Jen to dress as Hagrid so he doesn't have to wear a suit. <laughs> oh my god. So are we wearing robes to this thing? Telling me Rick Raddus is done, but I'm still buying robes. Some things never change. No! He said all caps, no. What do you mean, no? Can we climb up here? No. Guests are allowed to as they choose. Ooh, you hear that? Some spooky whispers. Can I go up here? Seems like maybe this section of the game is not like a huge... It's just like one area that we'll kind of go back and forth and explore. But isn't like... It feels like it's maybe not progressing from one part of the level to the next. It's more like exploring this one giant area and getting the things you need to progress. So I don't know, maybe we need to replace that doll with something? A book? Would that work? I feel like that will not work. But we can try it out. Oops. Give it a shot here. Maybe we need to get something from the top, top floor. We couldn't go all the way up this ladder, I don't think. I mean, that definitely looks like we can get something from there, but I don't think I could climb all the way up here. Can I move from the side? Feels like I should be able to like grab the edge here and kind of climb along it, but he's not He's not cooperating. What's what's up here? Let's take a good look. There's a lever, there's something to unlock. There's whatever that is in the middle. We definitely want to get up there, but it, I don't think we can move this. I don't think we'd be able to, though. I mean, it's on a track. You can see it up there. Can we not move the ladder along? Like over to that side? Oh, there we go. There we go. I'm not sure that we need to be up here in that or up here yet, but give it a look, see.
A lot of stuff to just play with in here, I guess. Interesting. Feels like there's a number of puzzles to solve in this area. Looking at it now, I feel like maybe we want these eyeballs to open up. System. Oh! You told him to make robes optional. No, you're going to wear a robe and you're going to like it. So I think maybe we're trying to get this light to shine on the different eyes. And at least that's what I gather here. Ooh, we're so close. We're so close, too. Adam in the chat, what's going on, buddy? Good to see you. Thank you for joining us. You have not missed much. I've just been basically exploring this first area and playing with stuff. Let's see. Having a not great time figuring out the mechanics of this. Still got your shoes on. Appreciate you. Thanks for. I feel like I'm annoying you when I'm like, hey, Adam, I'm going to stream tonight. Okay, I'm going to go live in like 10 minutes, Adam. You don't have to watch Adam, but if you want to, haha. -ha, I'll be live, Adam. I feel like I'm a little, I'm a little obnoxious, but I. <laughs> I just appreciate having you in the chat, my friend. How you doing tonight? I made this so much. I, I was in a much better position with this when I started. I've made it so much worse. I'm just kind of fucking with it. Oh no, you're good. I, I just started maybe playing this like 20 minutes ago and you've truly missed nothing. I've just been fucking around in this big area. You'll see. It's like they just dropped me in one big area. You'll see what I mean. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. We're almost there. Bit of a rough close. They got you working late, huh? Sorry to hear it. Glad the evening's winding down for you, though. Multiverses? Uh, well, I, I'm... I'm kind of shit at it. Because fighting games aren't really my thing. I think I said, said that several times. <laughs> I was making a lot of excuses while playing it. Uh, I'm pretty bad at it. But it's a fun game. Are we going to get it? Is this it? Yeah! Yeehaw! We got it. Um, I thought something would happen after we did that. Oh, something is happening. Oh, a door open. Alright. A door open. Yeah, it's fun. I like it. Um, had a couple friends join, which was nice. What's this do? Oh, 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 okay. Wow, look at this. There's a lot going on in this area, huh? Go back up. It was fun. Um, not very good at it, but, you know, that doesn't have to be a prerequisite to enjoying playing the game. But fighting games, PvP, not really my thing. Just wanted to give it a shot since it's, you know, free. And thankfully, I know a couple people playing it. I'll probably revisit it sometime. Don't know how frequently I'll stream it. I thought it was kind of a tough game to stream. I had a really... I'm, I'm shit at it already as is, but like then trying to also read the chat, which is which is not the most lively chat in the world anyway. You know, it's usually just... 
you know, at best, three or four people, which is perfectly fine. But point being, it's not like I got to keep up with hundreds of messages. But even still, um, trying to focus on the game and read the chat and talk over it, I was having a pretty hard time splitting my focus. Whereas this, even though it's like a puzzle game, it's like, okay, I can take a, I can stop. I can look at the chat. I can think about things. Just a little more my pace. But I like it. I mean, it's it's fun. Fun characters. Probably something I'll play more in my off time than stream. But uh, maybe I'll come back to it once I've made more progress in it and get a little more comfortable with it. Man, I'm very intimidated by how big this area is. Got a lot of pictures here. Is it mostly not Nintendo Smash Bros? Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's very shamelessly, you know, a, a Smash parallel, right? But, like, the, char the character base is fun. You know, it's DC characters, it's Warner Brothers, Looney Tunes, Cartoon Network characters, and uh, LeBron James. <laughs> so, like, it's a fun character base, and I'm sure they'll add on to it. Like, obviously, Warner Brothers has a pretty robust library of characters and properties that they have access to, right? So, um, I'm sure they'll add on to it. What's going on, Munkins? Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for joining us for Little Nightmares. We're in the last chapter of the DLC. Holy shit, there is a lot to process here. I liked it thus far. Uh, multiverses, though. I'll probably keep playing it and see how it, uh, you know, see how it develops. What on earth are we doing now? Get a bunch of pictures of a bunch of beautiful people. Love to see them. And they're all in here with corresponding buttons. Oh my god, look at him. Jesus. Hmm. I'm a little afraid to press the buttons because I don't know what they do. Um, Adam, if you if that's something you get into though, like if you like Smash, if you like fighting games, um, I mean, it's total, it's completely free. No matter what platform you're on, if you're on console at all, if you're PC, it's free and it has crossplay. So, do I have to like? Press the buttons in order with the pictures up on the wall? That seems like that'd be kind of crazy to track. Right? How would I even... How would I even track that? I'm just going to press 1 and see what happens. I don't know what the buttons actually do yet. Okay, they light them up. Okay. So what's the clue here? Which ones do we want to light up and which ones don't we? I'm guessing we don't just want to light them all up, right? That would be too simple, but that might make it a little easier to figure out for the time being. Oh, no. Okay, wait. How many was that? Is that five? Did I get five of them? Or did I get four? No, I hit this one and they all shut off. So I got five. Okay, so you can light up five of them to open this door. But what is the indicator... Which five to light up? What's the pattern? I see the same pictures up here. Or maybe it's just ones that are on the wall. Maybe not all those are here on the wall, right? So maybe we just have to... So I saw this really hideous one. That guy. I wonder if it's that simple. 
he's definitely on there. Love to see him. Beautiful son of a bitch. What else? How about... I feel like that guy with the hat. I feel like I saw him. Let's commit some of these to memory. Is the guy with the hat in here? No, no. Nope, there he is. Guy with hat. Uh, there's like a droopy faced guy, like the chef. You got an Oculus Quest 2 today. Really? I have actually never played any VR in any context ever. Is that the... Let's see. I feel like I saw that lady. This nose guy's definitely there. I saw him. Yeah, is VR something you've played with before, or is that, uh, is that a new addition to your collection? Who else can we see up here? Okay, I think that one. I think I see two right there that are in that room. There's like a sort of, there's a semi-normal looking lady, and then there's a, like, droopy-faced lady? Question mark next to her. Here's the droopy-faced lady. Okay, wait, no. This is this lady's not there. This guy's there, I think, though, right? Check one more time. I don't want to start over. Assuming I'm even doing this correctly. I might be off on this. But I feel like... Hold on. Who's, who's left? Who's left? That guy, yeah, 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 yeah. That guy's out there for sure. This guy. Yeah, we figured it out. Check out the big brain on us. Okay. So now we can get this. The wife has been wanting one. Oh, for 3D sculpting. You've played with it before at other people's. This is your first one. For 3D sculpting, interesting. I never even thought of that kind of application. You're always getting in the most interesting stuff. 3D sculpting. Okay, there's a little hole here. There's that statue there, so maybe we can grab that and take it back to that room with the Indiana Jones trap. Although I feel like as soon as I take it, the eyeball is going to op open and be very upset with me. What's through here? What's going on this way? What's that? Some sort of... Is that a radish? A turnip? Oh my god, dude. Oh, there's a bonus here. Oh my god, this reminds me... I finally watched the um, Netflix movie today, um, Incantation. It's this new horror movie on Netflix that I've been meaning to get to for the last couple of weeks. It's a Taiwanese film. Can I take this? Maybe I shouldn't. This makes me feel like having watched Incantation, I shouldn't touch anything in here. If you know me, you know I love scary movies. And this is the first one in a while that I really felt affected by. That I thought was actually genuinely a scary movie. It's a found footage movie, which I know some people have feelings on found footage. Um, but this one, this one actually has a great in-story reason to be a found footage movie that I won't disclose because it's a pretty big spoiler. But oh, I love, I'm gonna pick this up and see if something bad's gonna happen real quick. Hold on. Woo! Oh, instant death! I'm sorry. Uh... Oh wait, we could just drop down in front of this and we'd be alive, wouldn't we? Let's try that. 
you done some modeling and basic sculpting in Blender, but limited by your PC, and this might be a good way to take it to the next level. That sounds like that'd be really cool. I mean, you'd just be like, in it. <laughs> you know what I mean? You would just be in the sculpting matrix. Okay, I think we just dropped down the top of this. Ah, leave me alone! There we go. Ah. Okay. See, I'm a genius. Ooh, come on! Whew. Oh wait, what? Do we have to hit that button? hit the button with the statue. Was I frightened by it? And not just weirded out? No, I thought Incantation was sincerely a scary movie. And I watched it, mind you, in the middle of the day, windows open, Jess sleeping on the couch next to me. Oh! Get, oh, come on! I'm pretty sure I gotta get out of here with the statue. I was actually freaked out by it. Um, yeah, it's a Taiwanese movie, and I, I gotta say, dude, Eastern cultures, they just, they do horror a lot differently than us. And, man, when they do it well, it really sticks. Maybe it's because you don't see the, the way they approach horror visually and also thematically, you don't see a lot here. Um, and maybe that's why when it when done really well, it sticks with me. I dug it a lot. It's, um... Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, no! God damn it. I should probably be approaching this a little more strategically. It's about, um... It's got, like, sort of a non-linear narrative. It's found footage and presentation... And it's about, there's like two plot threads. One is this mother, or no, excuse me. One is this woman who's part of a documentary crew who for their YouTube channel in the past are putting together a documentary, a, a very sort of cliche, like ghost hunter documentary. And they're going to um, research this this cult this like remote cult and the entity they worship and the what? what do you mean? what do you mean? what do you mean? I'm in the shadow I'm in the shadow bro okay there we go got a little greedy last time Oh, no. Couldn't make it from there. Okay, let's try it again. Okay. Yeah. Okay, grab the statue. Ah, oh, no, sorry. Went too, went too early. Oh, ooh, did you see that fake out? What was that? All right, we got it. We got the statue. We're taking it with us. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, it's about this film crew going to investigate this cult. And you get the idea pretty early on that things didn't go as planned. And then the more... The modern... Oh, and, and because of what happened, this woman, um, whoa, wait a minute, something spooky's happening while I'm talking. There's some sort of shadow child over there. Hello? Oh, 
I'll just be on my way. Um, she gives up her child for adoption at birth because something happened during their investigation that basically made her so afraid of the world that she couldn't raise a child. And then the, the more contemporary story is, you know, taking place now and is about her having overcome her fear and her daughter coming back into her care. Now her daughter is like a six-year-old girl. And so it, it, it bounces back and forth between those two plots as it, you know, and, and progressively shows the way that the, the two things relate to each other. And there is just some imagery, some scene construction, some themes in this movie that affected me so deeply. They really shook me. <laughs> and, you know, I, I, it sounds like I'm kidding, but like, I don't know if this one's supposed to be doing, by the way. Let's see what happens. I was thinking like, oh, you replaced one. Get that one. But like, who cares now? I need this door to open, right? How do I get this door to open? I thought swapping these out would do the trick. Now it doesn't open there. Can I get this door to open? Presumably, I don't, I don't know. I guess we'll explore a little bit more. Um, yeah, I tend to think of myself as kind of desensitized, especially when it comes to horror. And like, maybe I am. Even like a, a really good horror movie that I just enjoy, it's pretty rare that I actually feel scared watching one. So much so that like, it's not really a prere prerequisite for me anymore for a horror movie to be scary in order for me to think of it as good. Huh, I'm kind of at a loss for what else I should be doing in this place. I thought I'd be switching out those dolls, but that didn't really have anything to do with anything. I had this book, but I can't... She's still here, right? Yep. And I'm not even sure if I need to sneak past her. Well, I need to get this key, right? That's the big thing. I wonder if I just... No! <laughs> anyway, yeah. I, I, I consider myself a kind of desensitized when it comes to horror and that it's rare for things to scare me. But this really did. And it has some really grotesque body horror stuff in it. If you can get down with that, I saw it play with a certain a certain phobia that I've seen discussed a lot on the internet, but never have I seen it actually implemented in a um, in a movie before. And I, I was when it when it happened, I just went, "Wow, well fucking done." That's going to affect a lot of people. It's not really a phobia I have. Um, I think it's trypophobia. It's not really a, you know, I don't, I'm not, it wasn't pleasant when I saw it. Not really a phobia I have. Some people have a real phobia of this. And it was implemented in the movie real well. Alongside a lot of other stuff. Incantation on Netflix. I, I recommend it a lot. If you're looking for something new and scary and unsettling to watch. Um, more so too, I, I almost wish I had watched this in the middle of the night in a dark room just to be able to experience it that way for the first time. I recommend it a lot. Um, there were two headless statues side by side. Is that some kind of clue with the two statues? Maybe. There's a lot going on. There's like this big open area and I'm like revisiting rooms and stuff. Um, Matt, you remember that I'm a Ravenclaw? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I guess I'm a Ravenclaw. Watching Big Daddy. Oh, what? <laughs> Watching Big Daddy Maz and Secret of Dumbledore and listening to the stream. I thought, I like misread that at first, and I thought you were telling me Maz Mikkelsen was in Big Daddy starring Adam Sandler. And um, that would have 
blew my fucking mind. I wonder if we can distract her with this book. <laughs> yeah! Nope, we just die instantly. <laughs> Um, what did you think of Secret of Dumbledore, Matt? I mean, you're re-watching it, right? So you must have enjoyed it in some capacity. You must have deemed it rewatchable. watchable um, Adam, you like Korean cinematography and their horror is grand. I agree, man. I got, I got a saying. Eastern cultures, they just, they, you know... I mean, it goes without saying, different cultures um, have different... They, they view horror... And genre in general through a different lens. So, I mean, obviously that... Let's see, what's going on here? Obviously that rings true in this movie as well, but, like... You know, there was that... There was a big, like... Like, J-horror trend for a while in the 2000s, too, where, like... Like, Ring and Grudge got really big, and, like, a bunch of other movies got remade, too. Like, Pulse, Dark Water. I think it's the second Dark Water mention on this stream. <laughs> Impressive. Not many people out here talking about Dark Water. And then, um, I haven't really... Like, I'm not, like, a... I'm not an expert in, in Japanese, Korean, Taiwanese horror. You know, I've just kind of seen some of the bigger entries... So I can't pretend to like be really well read on um, some of those filmographies. Did you watch the Korean medieval zombie show Kingdom? They're making a Souls like of it. Looks good. I did not watch that show. I'd heard some decent things about it. Had you seen any of that? Um, what else am I supposed to be doing here? So I can't really go back to that previous room with that lady. Well, these like spawned on top of each other. Yeah, yeah, put one back. Hmm. Okay, well clearly we're not supposed to be I guess we're not supposed to replace these with each other with one with the other. We want to be able to leave this room with one? You watched a few episodes of it, but your wife got bored of it. Costuming was good. I didn't know they were doing a game adaptation of it. That's interesting. Oh wait, no, I don't want to go up. I was thinking it was going to go to the lower floor. Let's try it again. Maybe I'll check it out. I've been watching shows now, as you know. Since my life is no longer controlled by movie trivia, I'm allowing myself to watch TV shows. We watched some more of The Boys today, Jess and I. And you know what? I gotta say, everybody was telling me, get ready for an episode called Herogasm. And we watched Herogasm today. And I don't know if it just got too hyped up for me. I, I wasn't all that... Huh? Oh, are there divots in the floor? Oh. I didn't even notice that. There are di little divot shapes here on the floor, so that was a square one. I just happened to walk in here and he put it down by himself. I would have never have fucking noticed that. <laughs> I'm glad he thought I glad they programmed it so he just drops it in here. There's a circle here and a triangle there. Okay, so we need to get them all and bring them back in this room. Interesting. Yeah, I saw Hero Gasm finally, and I I gotta say, it didn't really knock my socks off in the way that I was led to believe by several people who had seen it already. Not saying it wasn't a good episode. But the stuff I liked from it was more of the story stuff and the back half of the episode. But like the crazy sex stuff 
and what kind of the first half didn't really didn't really get me. And I think it's I, I was talking about being desensitized earlier. I think I'm already adeptly desensitized by this show. Like I'd already just seen them do such crazy shit that I didn't even really blink when they at what they were doing in this episode. I don't know if they're going to be able to top um, Ant Man running up somebody's urethra and exploding. <laughs> I don't know that they're going to be able to top that for me in terms of shock value. That really that really set the bar for me, and I didn't think there was anything quite as crazy as that in this episode. Sorry to say. So we can crawl behind her, right? I'm, what, I'm There's other statues I must have not seen yet. And we got to get that key. We got to get her out of here is the thing, right? What do you mean? I couldn't quite find the, the door I was supposed to walk through there. Unless that door's closed now. Um, yeah, we're almost done with the boys. I think there's two episodes left of the season, and then we're all caught up with the rest of the world. I'm gonna go back up here and investigate for a second because it seemed like there were some spooky things happening in this room upstairs. What's going on over here? What was on this side again? Oh wait, we haven't gone up here yet, have we? Yeah, what's up here? Yeah, we're almost done with the boys, which I'm still enjoying. I've not seen like this like Homelander thing, which has been memed to death, which is that like gif of him like awkwardly smiling and looking around after he's done something terrible. I don't know what it, the terrible thing is that he's done. I've not seen that part yet. I think maybe that's in the last episode. Huh, okay, I'm up here. Oh, can I jump and swing from this? Oh, dead. Not dead, okay. Well, that felt like the thing to do. What was I meant to be doing up there? Hold on. You don't watch much TV yourself, some anime when your wife is into it, but you're generally gaming if you're in front of a TV. See, I'm getting back into the whole gaming thing. Obviously. Did I just need this book, maybe? Huh. I don't know. It seems like I should be able to... No, I can't quite get it. Oh, shit. Rough landing. a little dirty skid mark on the floor here. Can't go under that, right? No. Feels like there's something else to this room. No? Um, I started watching The Witcher with Jess that came highly recommended by her. She loves that show and I'm enjoying it so far as well. I've never, this is, the, this is my first run in with The Witcher. I never read the books. I've not played the games. So Henry Cavill's my first go at Geralt. Uh, yeah. No, I can't reach that. I'm not really sure what else I'm supposed to do up there, though. You like the show quite well? And I feel like you're a fantasy guy, right? Have you read those books? I actually own the third third game, Wild Hunt. I'm going to try this up here one more time, because it seems like I need to be doing this. 
girl is Geralt, FYI. Um, actually, he's Geralt. Geralt. Excuse me. Read several of the books and played the games. Yeah, I got Wild Hunt on sale years ago. It was super cheap. I don't remember how cheap it was, but it was, I don't know, it was like probably less than 10 bucks. And I was like, it's conceivable that I'll want to play this game someday. And I may as well just buy it. Can't have me looking like a fool in front of my honey. Fair enough. Geralt. I guess, I don't know what else to do in this. I guess maybe getting this book was a thing. I got this book. I don't know what to do with it, though. Maybe I can, like, put it back on the shelf somewhere and a door opens. He's shining this light over here. Little fella's trying to tell me something. Oh, yep, here it is. Dumbass. How many times did I climb up there? <laughs> Maybe I can get on the chandelier. There it goes. Now it's just going to move, right? Right? Oh, do I have to do this with a couple things? It's like this one goes in here. Who else needs a partner? Who else does need a partner? Can't really see the designs on these ones, so I'm gonna say probably not these. You need a partner. That did the trick, there we go. I know a secret book shelf door when I see one. Yeah, I'm enjoying the show so far. I think we're just about done with the first season. There's one. And once we're caught up on that, I don't know, maybe I'll go ahead and um, play the game. That could be fun to stream sometime. Big RPG. And now we'll just have a totally normal trip back, right? Nice leisurely stroll back there. Mind if I do. Watch the latest episode of the rehearsal. Anybody else in the in the chat watching the rehearsal yet or still just me? Okay, this is Oh wait. oh, wait a minute. Right, 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 right. This is the one we want to leave in this room up here, the duplicate. Because this one's made out of wood. Right, so we're going to leave it. Oh, I don't like that. Why's the clock going off? Right, so we want to swap them out, is my guess. Take this. And leave this. Voila! There we go. Another puzzle solved. What does the thunderous music mean? <laughs> Shit if I know. <laughs> Doesn't really feel like it bodes well. The clock went off. I hope this wasn't like secretly a timed mission. We're gonna put this one over here. This one's a triangle. Ooh, light flicker. Don't like this. Now we just need the circle one. Ooh! Ooh, ooh, ooh! Oh, there's shadow kids everywhere. Get out of here. And the music stopped. I wonder if that means the lady's gone and if we can now finally take this book. I don't know if this is actually something we're supposed to do. I've been fixating on taking this book back to the other room the entire time. 
and she is indeed gone. Ooh, scary kids. Get away! Oh, why are you following me? Whoa! Oh, oh, this is like actually a thing. This is actually a problem. Shadow Kid bad. Very bad. Not good. Yeah, I know how to aim the flashlight. Is this my book? Yeah, it is. Okay. Ah, it's actually kind of hard to aim. There we go. Got him. I'm not sure if this... <laughs> I'm not sure if I actually need to take this book anywhere. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, no, 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 no! No, you don't. Go away. Ah! I need to get that key is what I need to do. I'm gonna fuck off with the book thing. I just worry about getting that key and shining this light on the shadow children. Oh, but they're... How, uh, they're double teaming. That's not fair. It's not fair. Ah, oh, come on. I don't know. This is... It's kind of awkward, actually. The controls... Up, there's like not been anything like this in the game so far I don't feel it doesn't feel like these this doesn't really respond super well yeah the beam hitbox is Ugh, come, I mean what the fuck what am I supposed to do there yeah it's kind of janky It's not really uh, been a mechanic like this in the game up until this point, and it's the very end of the game. My roll button? I don't have a roll button. I can get this guy. Okay, he comes out. He come out. He come out. Oh, what the fuck! I had him. Not loving this. What I'm wondering is if I like get one, is it permanently gone or are they just gonna keep spawning in? Okay, now he come out. Hey! Get the get the fuck out of here! Ugh! <sighs> Not loving this. <clears throat> kind of late to introduce like a combat mechanic. No, fuck off. God damn it. Ugh. It controls really awkwardly. I hate to be that guy making excuses, but... You have to, like, really specifically nail it. Alright, okay, get fucked. Got all of them, but, like, now I'm... Now the question I was trying to ask is like, are they all gone or feels like they're all gone. Now I'm going to be honest with you. I have no idea where this key is supposed to go, but like not an opportune time to, oh shit. That was not. Because I cannot carry and shine the light at the same time. Yeah, I totally don't remember where this key's going. 
Was there a padlock back there? With the flashlight, since I can't carry and shine a light at the same time. There was! I don't know if this is going to matter, but I'm going to pick up that book and bring it back here. If this is actually a thing, then I'm MLG Pro Little Nightmares Strats 69420. Or this is just a weird detail that I hyper fixated on. Let's see. There was a book over here that I was trying to bring with me. Because it has... This is still that book, right? Yeah, it has the other half of this lady's face on it. And I'm wondering, if I put it in this bookshelf... The game has brought, like, really no attention to this at all. But what happens... If I take this book and bring it all the way back here... <laughs> and put it in the shelf? I gotta know. It'll drive me nuts not to know. Big moment, big reveal. Oh yeah! Oh my god, we're so smart. Oh, this looks great. Wow, this this whole area actually is reminding me a lot of Incantation. What what is this area? What a nice little surprise room we got to look at. Some charred bodies, a pot, a big picture of some flaming souls. If you don't mind me, I'm just gonna tip this right over. Oops! Did I do that? Ashes to ashes. I got a trophy for it. Just like a little a little bonus, huh? Interesting. Well, we did it. 100% MLG completion run. All right, let's find where that key goes. <laughs> I don't know what the significance of that was, but um, I'm kind of proud that I figured that out, that I noticed it. Is there anything down here? I apparently didn't notice where the padlock was. There's gonna be more shadow fellas this way, I imagine. Really was not enjoying the flashlight mechanic, so not looking forward to more of that. Oh wait, we can turn this light on, right? Ta-da! Still pretty dang dark in here, though. But at least I guess this works as a safe zone. Ooh, big dislike when I turn this light on, too. Not making a huge difference in where I imagine we're going, right? There, there was a padlock up top, wasn't there? Because we still have to get the final statue. On the other side here. Yep, there it is. Uh, 
All right. What fun have we got in here? This looks fine. Just oh, some nice artwork. Where'd you get that? Pinterest. Take that. Can't keep going this way. Is that all? That can't be all. What? Was this the doorway? Oh, it was. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be a. This is gonna be all about the shadow kids. I hate them. More just out of. They're just kind of annoying and scary. Oh, there's a fucking lot of them too. Back, back up, back up, back up. Shadow kids. Speaking of kids, I'm loving the rehearsal. No, 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 no. Oh, look at that dash move. God damn it, they're everywhere. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Big dodge, big dodge, get away. Damn it! You dislike platforming since you feel like the whole premise is making shitty controls and designing obstacle courses around shitty controls. It certainly can be that, I suppose, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't consider this platforming. I would actually say the game somewhat platformy. Maybe not primarily, I mean, primarily it's been, you know, exploring and puzzle solving, if not just general problem solving. But like, what the fuck is this? This sucks. This sucks because there's like, it's like a weird mechanic introduced at the last... Ah! Introduced at the very end of the game. So it's like not very refined. Just juke them and run. I guess maybe that's an idea too. But then I don't I don't know if that's I don't know if that's an option here. That is a thing in some games. It's better to just run. But I don't know where I'm going. And I think if I run, they're just going to all follow me. And more will presumably appear as well. This just kind of sucks because I don't know, like if I'd spent half the game doing this, you know, it wouldn't be maybe that's the point. Just like a weird combat mechanic. Okay, we got him. At least, at least they stay dead. Oh, spoke too soon. Ah, come on. Fuck off. It's super obnoxious. Maybe I should just run. I'm gonna give it a shot. I mean, maybe that's what I'm meant to be doing. I don't think so. I'm just gonna run, run for it, and see what's over here. Can't get me up here. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Very cool. percent on where I'm meant to be going. Take it slow and steady. Oh, hey, fuckers.
Oh, there's one behind me. That's what sucks. They corner you. <sighs> you guys are fucking annoying. Well, that's annoying too if I like get on them and follow them. Ah, oh, come on! Ugh, this is really obnoxious. I feel like once you, once you get them in your light beam, they shouldn't be able to do their, like, dash move. You know, as long as you keep the light trained on them. Stay dead once I've killed them. I feel like they might just keep coming this time. No, go away. Bitches. They just keep spawning, which sucks. Cause I just killed a ton of them. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. You gotta give me at least some room to figure it out. Okay, we gotta drag the chair over here. Yeah, you can never do this while they were spawning. You'd never be able to get this part done. Granted, there's a little bit of light here, I guess. Maybe that would have stopped them. All right. What's the deal in here? Oh, good. Good for you. Get away, get away, I see you! Damn it! Oh, they're so annoying. I mean, I guess in some respect, like, a little bit of variety is cool. Like, one last big challenge, because I feel like once we finish this sequence, we'll have all the statues and the DLC is probably going to be over. Another kind of boss fight. He keeps shining his light over here like he wants me to see something. Can't quite climb up there, though. Pretty punishing for a new mechanic, and it's shitty how clunky it is. Yeah! Yeah. I mean, there, and there's just really nothing else. Oh! That's <laughs> a big hole in the floor. <laughs> Oops, didn't see that until it was too late. Um, yeah, it's a little clunky. It doesn't, it doesn't feel very good. If there was anything else like this, like even if it was just in the base game, compare like that's comparable to this maybe, but... The game primarily has been platforming and puzzle solving up until now, so it does feel like a weird shoehorned in combat mechanic. Getting a little bit better at it with practice here. It's not as bad when you don't have like Shadow Kid Battle Royale on your ass. 
I see one. I see two. See ya. I wonder if this room, this path will ultimately lead back out at that room with the Indiana Jones trap in it. Because there was another door on the other side of that room that we couldn't go through, so I wonder if we'll end up on the other side of that door eventually. Alright, what's the deal with this? There's a door here. Can't go out that way. Chair. Maybe climb up. It's a lamp. This way? Yes, we can. Okay. Nobody be a douche, okay? Don't get any clever ideas while I'm doing this. Don't pop out and be scary. Thank you. Oh! <laughs> I promise I <laughs> I had the grab button held down while that happened. I swear I did. Let's give that another shot. Just crumpled up like a bag of chips. All right, we're going to... We're gonna nail it, and we're gonna finish this in time for bed. Oh my god, wait a minute. Hold on. I gotta, there's no way we can't finish the stream of this game. We've gotta bookend it this way. I've gotta ask a very important question to Adam. Did you try Taco Bell yet? Please tell me you tried Taco Bell for the first time in your life. Give me all the details. Spill the tea. Spill the Baja Blast. He didn't. Ladies and gentlemen, he still has not eaten Taco Bell. Alright, there we go. Got it. Haven't tried Taco Bell yet. Damn. Just such a unique circumstance you're in. The day may come yet. Oh, oh, oh. Got him. You're gonna text me? At this stage, I'm saying... Adam, I'm saying I should come up there and get Taco... Oh, shit, ass! Oh! Uh. Get away from me. Get away! We're talking about Taco Bell, okay? Go get some cinnamon... Cinnamon twist back where you came from. I'm saying I should come up there and get Taco Bell with you. Like, I can be like your Taco Bell Sherpa and guide you up the mountain. I can't guarantee it will come down that mountain, but we'll get up it. It's a date. Fourth mill date. I'm going to lead you to victory. Got uh, another great ominous painting. Got some spooky Silent Hill music in the background. What is this? Can I turn this? Oh, I can. Oh, oh I, I see. I see, we're doing this. Great, 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 great. We're doing this. I see what we're doing. One of these things. Fuck off. Kind please kindly fuck off. Not next week or the week after, because you'll be in London. Cheerio London. Is that right? Oh my god, fuck off. Absolutely fuck off. Absolutely fuck off. 
Look at this! Ha ha ha! See you in hell! Didn't have to wait for it to close. Bet you can't travel through solid matter. You'll be in London, that's awesome. Oh yeah, I was hoping we could do this. Oh <laughs> yeah! Oh, that did a thing. <laughs> I didn't, <laughs> I was just having fun. Get ourselves a little bonus bottle. The Shadow Kids do have weird porcelain doll faces. It's definitely been a motif throughout this whole game. The main boss lady has one. Some of the grotesque customer uh, subhuman people in the base game had some on. Oops. Yeah, I was just having fun. I didn't know this was going to get me a bonus bottle. I mean, who wouldn't do this? If you, if, if you were this size and you saw a piano that you could run across, who would not do this? Can I play chopsticks? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Uh, uh, uh. Nope. Not quite. Well, enjoy jolly old London there, mate. I figured that out way faster than I did the nubs in the ground. Well, I wouldn't quite... Saying I figure that out is pretty gracious. Okay, here's that door. This is the door I was talking about, I'm pretty sure. My own, like, childlike wonder is what got me through that. And now that I'm actually... Now that I'm actually trying to figure something out, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Because I think that was just a bonus. There's nothing else in here for me. Right? There's more bottles. Seeing some family, some friends. Have you ever been out there before? What is this object? Is this something I should be do playing with? No? Oh, what the heck? Oh, surprise! It's a Funko Pop! Okay, now we need to get this door open. Oh. Well, enjoy. I've never been to London either. I've never, you know what? All this time, I never even really thought about it before. I've never actually uh, traveled anywhere outside the country. It's kind of a shame. Huh, what am I supposed to be doing now? I got the statue. Just need to get this door open. That lamp is flickering. I wonder. Ha ha! Look at that. Genius. Here we go. I think perhaps we've done it. We might have to deal with some more shitty kids on the way there, but I think we've just about done it. This this chapter was kind of neat. I like... It's got kind of this Metroidvania quality to it of going back and forth and revisiting parts of the level. There wasn't really anything else like that in the base game or this DLC, so that Kind of a neat approach to the final chapter. Something different. Didn't love that combat mechanic very much. In theory, I liked it, but uh, an execution could have been better. Alright, here we go. I wonder if 
We're gonna have a boss battle with this tall lady again. The one who is not fond of her own reflection, sadly. Just taking a take an inventory. Good sounds in my ear right now, not a problem. Ooh, there she is. Okay, what's over here? Ooh, that scared me a little bit. Even though I knew the real one was over there. That wasn't a good feeling, seeing that. Anything over here? No? All right, let's take it easy. Oh, can we actually see her face? I don't think we've been able to do that before. Let's get a good look here. Looks, uh, you know, but by no means the most grotesque person we've seen in this game. I'm just gonna. Oop! Uh, uh oh! Spaghettio! Oh. There's been a dearth of cone friends lately, and you like the logic complaint. That yeah, they are sorely missed. I agree. Um, a, a couple of them scurried off at the very start of this chapter, but yeah, they've. They do not come up here. It seems. They are sorely missed. I definitely think I enjoyed the chapter in which they were abundant the most. This, this looks like a thing. No? No? Uh. Oop. That's okay. This feels a little redundant after the finale of the base game, but I mean, I guess if you're going to get off the boat, you got to go through her first. Whoa. Oh, yikes. Oh, <laughs> I don't like that. That was uh, a little creepy. The controller like vibrates when she floats past too. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Just like, yeah, not not loving that. Ugh. This is the kind of stuff that really gets me. Like when the like giant people are running and chasing me around, and I'm screaming like that. I'm, just, you know, that's just kind of fun shit like this that creeps me out the anticipation of what's lurking in the shadows pov of you for the bad guys at your job <laughs> trying to do crimes <laughs> this is you in like the clothing racks fluttering past the uh the toy aisle That's good. It, it is effective. The mannequins in the corner and stuff. I do feel bad for this little kid, man. He's really... I haven't quite taken to him, like, yellow raincoat. And I'm not sure why, because neither of them had a lot of personality. In fact, the yellow raincoat was... kind of a motherfucker in the end, but... This kid's got gusto. We've got courage. We're going to get him out of here if it's the last thing we do. Ooh. What's the... What was that noise? Nothing in here, I don't think. 
which means there's probably something waiting for waiting for me to come outside oh no this door opened oh no big open friendly space right we're just gonna we're just gonna we're just gonna go right oh I knew it here she comes how are we gonna get out of this one gnomes help that's not the end is it I see. Well, that that puts some things together for us. Be careful what you ask for, Adam. The monkey paw has granted your wish. There is a gnome and we are him. Oh man. It's kind of a bummer. At the same time. Kind of delighted. To be one. This kind of rocks. That fucking finger closed hard. You about to get eaten by a raincoat? Oh, do you think that's. That's me? Oh wow, we're actually gonna play as we're actually going to play as him huh. I hear the slurping <laughs> I kind of you know I know it's not a good I have to be the one to get eaten by raincoat oh fuck me is that really how it's going to end Just going to be like, pick up the sausage. Oh! I am kind of delighted to be playing as one of these guys. Like, look at him. He's so fucking cute. I love him. I love him so much! Just a sausage on the ground with a lone spotlight. Well, I don't remember this particular section with the raincoat boy. Hey, no mind to me. I'm just a little, a little fella with a triangle hat. No, I don't think so. This is similar. This is similar to a section. No, I know, I know exactly what you're thinking of. I thought, yeah. No, I didn't. This isn't that exact room. This is similar. But, like, the tape. Unless I'm on the other side of it, maybe? It's not the exact same room. I'm only confident in that because uh, I, I clipped it recently. This is a very interesting twist. So all the little cone boys we've been seeing are children who tried to escape and were caught by the porcelain woman. There's a sausage up there. Should we get it? I don't think we can reach. We're so small. We were already small and we're so much smaller. Sausages. Maybe this is one. Ooh. Is this a sausage? Can we get it? Touch his hand. He's sleeping. He don't care. All we can do is jump down here, I guess. Ooh. Oh, here's... Here's one. 
There's a lot of sausages on the ground. He doesn't interact with them. I've been telling him to grab them. He's not doing it. <laughs> not these sausages. Your sausages are in another castle. Oh! <laughs> no, Adam! No! No, you can't. Oh no, you have to run too! Run with them! No! <laughs> I can't believe it. This is how we come full circle. Oh, that sucks. That's so sad. I'm not controlling this anymore, by the way. Oh, oh is it gonna make me choose to pick it up? No, it's just gonna zoom out knowingly. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's so sad! Trophy earned, we'll meet again. Oh, Secrets of the Maw. That is deeply fucking upsetting. <laughs> Adam loves it. Oh, man. You go through all that trouble. All those obstacles. All those terrible monsters. And you, in fact, are the cone head that gets devoured by the next kid trying to escape. Oh, man. It is good. That is good. And I was... I remember I'd, I'd kind of complained earlier because I I went into this under the impression that the DLC was going to give some more context and what was going on, and I was like, it's not really doing that. But it certainly at least gives context into the, the cone heads, huh? And where they come from. It does add some new context to the rest of the game for sure. Not sure what that was, that TV. I just remember that the long armed fella likes his TV. You're glad I waited. Well, he hell yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed watching it. It wouldn't, it wouldn't have felt right to finish the game finally without you in the chat. And I'm glad you enjoyed the ending. I like that too. I liked it too. It was just kind of a gut wrench <laughs> after playing through all of that. And it definitely adds more tragic context to the uh, the gnome characters. And, um, you know, their, their, their reluctance to help you, and then also their, their determination to help you once you endear yourself towards them. As soon as I woke up as a gnome, it clicked. You got there faster than me. I, I honestly don't know if I would have... If I would have expected that until I saw the sauce, it, it, it really did come together exactly how we said it would. A lone spotlight on a sausage on the ground. Ugh. Still not sure what's up with Raincoat and, um, you know, his unending hunger for life. But that's it. That's Little Nightmares. We finished it. Um, I did buy the second one, it was on sale as part of the PlayStation Summer Sale. So I have the second game. I don't think we're going to jump into it right away. I'd like to maybe play at least one other game start to finish before we get back into this. But um, I really did like this game a lot. I got a little more mileage out of it than I expected. Um, got stuck in a few spots here and there, but I think that's kind of the, the nature of this, a bit of a puzzle solver. And the DLC was definitely worth it too. I mean, I think altogether it was like six bucks. Um, and that was just about as long as the base game and had as much variety and and different mechanics and such and it was good i like this spooky little game some tense sequences great art style uh, minimalist story but the dlc did bring it some elements together in a way that make it click a little bit more um yeah no this is good i like this game a lot and I'm a little sad to be saying goodbye to it, but thankfully, there's already a sequel. 
and it will not be long before we get into that. Don't know 100% what I'm going to stream next. I have a pretty vast library of stuff. The next game I pick will probably be shorter than this. I'm, I'm between a couple of options. I'm not really sure yet. Um, not really sure yet, and I'm not 100% on when I'm going to stream next. Like, next weekend, I don't... It's going to be pretty busy. Um, it's going to be Jess's birthday, so going to be pretty occupied with that. Celebrating her birthday. Um, so I'm not sure when I'll hop on next. If I see an opportunity during the week, I might do so. I mean, I'm thinking about maybe streaming tomorrow night. Um, we'll see how the day shakes out, but I'm thinking about maybe going live again tomorrow night. Um, we'll see. But thank you, everybody, who's joined me for Little Nightmares live here on Twitch or the recordings on YouTube. Appreciate you. Thank you for hanging out. It's been a lot of fun. Really enjoyed this game. This is a great way to get back into streaming, I think. And I definitely, I definitely would consider myself back into streaming. We're going to keep this going. I've got a lot of games I'd like to play. Um, the sequel being one of them, but we'll see what's next. I haven't decided yet, but thank you for joining me. Hope you enjoyed the game as much as I did. I hope it was as fun to watch as it was to play. Of course, as always, big shout out and lots of love to my man, Adam in the chat, sticking with me from the very start to the very, very ending here. Appreciate you, buddy. And I cannot wait to come up and, uh, show you how to live moss and introduce you to the fourth meal. I'm going to call it a night. Um, hit me up for some multiverses. If you haven't already, my username on there is OverlordTC. OverlordTC, all one word. Feel free to send me a friend request on there if you're playing multiverses. We'll have to play with you. Don't know when I'll stream it again, but I'll I'll be playing it off stream for sure. So uh, I'd love to play with anybody there. Feel free to send me a friend request or DM me your username. I'll send you a friend request. You'll be around Saturday, but fly out Sunday. Yeah, I, I okay. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to stream next weekend anyway. So if I see a, a spot during the week, I'll probably go ahead and take it. Uh, maybe we'll boot up Dreams and give that another shot because I have a lot of stuff I want to do on Dreams that could be a fun, a fun one-off between games too. Uh, I'm gonna call it a night though. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope you enjoyed the game. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Catch you on the next one. Good night, my good friend Adam. Sweet dreams, my friend. And um, I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Take care. Appreciate you.